Yeah, we're doing something a little different today. I'm gonna run you through how I make my Marvel Snap thumbnails. This is something people talk about a lot on the channel. You guys give me a lot of nice compliments on my thumbnails, thank you. Uh, something I spend a lot of time on because it's frankly my favorite part of all of this. Like, yeah, it's great to play games. It's cool recording videos, but I actually like this the most. It's like I get to be in my little space in my quiet time and just, you know, make some cool things out of really cool art usually, which is fun. So um, this is gonna be a really loosely structured video, just kind of stream of consciousness and me talking through how I do little things. And I will say, you know, I am not a like traditionally trained graphic designer so any graphic designers out there are probably going to get mad at me for the way i do things it's just like little things i've learned over time my own way my own process you know i'm, I'm probably missing all kinds of tricks i i don't really use like shortcuts all that much i'm sure there are a million ways i could improve this process but that uh, works for me and it's just what i know you know this is just what skill set i've acquired so please don't get too mad if you're uh if you're a graphic designer but i think the results are okay so Perhaps I do all right. So what we're looking at here is my kind of base template. This has like a bunch of, you know, power and cost stuff, like the card frames we can turn off and on. I kind of manually made these glows to make it look like the infinite frame. You know, we got the we got the background here, etc. Um, so this is the starting spot. You can see the, uh, the cool Baron Zemo uh, uh gladiator hybrid i made now this one i don't actually have the layers for how we created this here because i made it in a separate spot uh i don't actually even save the the layered version so this is all we have but you can see some cool touches i did on this one I had to kind of draw these lines here and manually had to go find these um gun straps off a different uh baron zemo from the comics the one uh the, like the base art for that just it just didn't line up like the the angles and, and stuff were just wrong for this shape of character so you can see like the gun straps and a recolor of course all of it to black and yellow and purple this purple match is a little off by the way on this like neck collar it's kind of bothering me i'm pretending it's like a different material or something so i'm okay with it but sometimes color matching is like the hardest part it's so like even when you use some like color matching color replacement tools it's just really hard this one one thing i didn't do is a lighting pass like sometimes the like i think it's called like rim lighting you can see here how there's like this kind of greenish yellow edge around his yellow gloves um like this is more of like a neutral white lighting you know it's like sometimes i go to the trouble but these I just kind of color shifted from red to yellow and they had some kind of like, I think like orangish glow on the red version. So when I color shifted the whole arm, the rim lighting also gets color shifted instead of kind of manually dealing with it. I just said, oh, it looks fine. It's it's yellow on yellow. Nobody really noticed. Uh, but sometimes I do go to the trouble to actually fix that. So anyway, uh, this is a <laughs> pretty cool one. I was really happy with this. This took a lot of work, but I think we'll make a new one so you guys can see this live. And uh, I'm not going to do anything too intricate because I'm not 100% sure I'll end up using this. It would be nice if I could. <laughs> but I was looking at the, the future schedule and I saw like High Evolutionary is coming back in... Um, in spotlight caches and it looks like red hulk's gonna be in there and i thought it'd be cool to maybe combine red hulk it's a nice one because like a big bold color like that uh with the red usually kind of conveys the transformation or, or the mashup really nicely and i was looking at high evolutionary and high evolutionary is just like a really hard one to combine with he's got weird armor he's kind of got a weird pose and stuff so i don't think we'll use high evolutionary to combine with red hulk but i did see that of course she hulk is in a lot of these lists as well so She-Hulk being transformed into Red Hulk, that's a really, um, probably pretty manageable one. Sounds relatively easy, which will be nice for the video. I don't have to get crazy in the weeds. Um, and also uh, just really good, strong imagery, right? Oh, I know She-Hulk, super recognizable character. And she's red. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that looks cool. That's definitely a fun twist. So when I'm grabbing uh, <coughs> this art, it's really handy. Because what I do is I... I extract the game files. I, I guess it's basically data mining, but <coughs> um, Marvel Snap has these clean, transparent PNGs already, because this is what they use to create the like parallax effects on the cards, you know, the, the 3D, they need different layered versions and stuff. And um, in fact, they have even, even better, like they have um, 
cut up versions like this, right? <coughs> Where different body parts are um, in, in, in different layers and stuff. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together. And if you only need a certain like arm or something, you know, it's really easy sometimes to just grab the arm. I think for this one, we can probably, I think since some of these pieces are connected anyway, like the arm is connected to the clothes, probably just be fine to start from the from the base version here. We're gonna have to manually select and cut out some components here basically to um, to create uh, what we need. I mean, it, it might be more efficient if I really mapped it out, but it's fine. I'll just showcase what I would do anyway. Um, but it's really nice because in like Hearthstone, I have to manually cut out the characters for thumbnails because they don't have, they're, they're like part of the background or whatever. It's not separated art. So Marvel Snap does make it a little easier in some ways, but of course, these mashups make it a little harder. So let's also grab Red Hulk here for two reasons. Uh, we're not obviously gonna like use his head or anything. It's gonna have to stay She-Hulk's head, but uh, color matching is pretty nice for like clothing and um, you know, his, his red skin color too. We'll wanna try to match as much as we can. So let me grab uh, just the composed Red Hulk art here as well. Uh, we'll just keep this uh, handy on this She-Hulk layer. Let's delete these excess layers, by the way. All right, so we'll put Red Hulk in here and just hide him away for now, but like matching his hair color, uh, fingernail, maybe we'll have to paint black, I guess. Uh, just one, thankfully, that's not too bad. We'll probably transform her clothes to look more like his kind of gray neutral tone as well. And we'll probably make her eyes yellow like his eyes. So there'll be a few different things we wanna try. So basically here, I wanna create a, um, a layer of all the skin, since all the skin's gonna be getting changed to the same uh, red tone. So we're just gonna go in and, and manually select all of her skin elements here, and sometimes I miss these. And um, I, I frankly probably don't need uh, the lower body because often, you know, it gets cut out of the frame on the, the thumbnail because you're only, you know, Trying to zoom in a little bit, so you're usually using like just the upper body. We'll go a, a little down her legs at least. She has kind of a wider pose than some characters, so it may be required that we we zoom out a little bit on her. And you know, like you can see here what I'm doing. This does not have to be crazy precise. You know, most people aren't viewing thumbnails at full size, which for me is is um, 1920 by 1080. Basically, 1080p is what I make them in. Uh, you know, most people are viewing them on the phone or in it, it doesn't really matter even on a PC or a TV You're usually still seeing them smaller because they're they're next to a bunch of other thumbnails So these lines, you know, it's it's good to be You know clean as you can but you don't have to like lose your mind trying to be super precise. This is so easy We'll just do the whole legs just in case just to cover our Cover our basis and let you guys get a good good look at the The, the area of she hulk here uh, okay, so we're just gonna take all this skin and I'm gonna go ahead and just make this a new layer right on top. So now we can basically change the color of this. This is not how we're actually gonna do it. Let me move all my tools over here. So, you know, we can make her blue. Hey, she hold it. We can still turn that off and be green if she needs to. Uh, but we don't actually wanna make her blue this way. I think what we wanna do is um, because her her she has some like uh, rim lighting, this this uh, kind of orange glow. It is also on our hair, so it's a little bit <coughs> picky, but we're probably gonna wanna try to kind of get rid of that as much as we can. So I think what we're gonna do instead is do this photo filter tool um, and just really crank it up on red. Mm, this is, we're like losing a little bit of detail here. Um, there's another way to do this too. We can do a selective color here and take the probably green and yellow components and adjust them too to try to crank up the red this way. Like this, you know, we're not really getting there quite yet. Again, uh, this green to red is a tough shift. Maybe we are gonna use the, the U in saturation to get her to at least get her close to red and then tweak from there, right? Just hard to get a true red on this. We'll probably start here. Maybe from here the red photo filter will work a little better. Yeah, we're getting we're getting there now. Okay. Uh actually let's do a second pass here. 
and i will say like color matching is one of the toughest things now you can see here like we're not remotely close on the color she's currently way too pink and uh probably a little too bright but we can we can shift her around here to pull her closer to red hulk and let's let's actually just leave him up here as well she might end up always being a little bit brighter but we can also change that too you know sorry i, I usually work on my other screen so this is all a little bit wacky to me uh she's got a pretty pretty hard like these these really bright areas are kind of hard to work with a little bit oh i also didn't cut out her lips and eyes which we'll, we'll do later we can still still fix that no problem because we have that base layer behind um we do really want the saturation a little stronger but we just still need to shift it too and it doesn't it doesn't have to match red hulk perfectly right like you know it's it's uh he's not going to be on screen you're not going to know what exactly color red hulk is it just needs to convey that idea that hey she's she's definitely looking like the red hulk you know i think i need to bring down and by the way i know this process looks like really complicated like really it, it, sometimes this takes a while right the color matching is tough I, there may be a better way to do this like i said i don't know i'm not a um I want to bring down those whites a little bit maybe without if i don't i don't want her to look too blown out you know we still need some of that contrast but um his kind of whiter areas are a little bit like yellow almost it looks like to me so maybe we bring up the yellow a little bit in her highlights right and then the neutrals to oh, okay there we go we lose too much of that and we're in trouble he has pretty dark okay so i know this looks weird but i'm, I'm setting up for this step which is to hopefully pull down some of this and she's still she's still just a little off right and try to warm her up a little bit like, I think this would probably be close enough that if I put this on a thumbnail, nobody would say, oh, she doesn't look like, she doesn't look not like the Red Hulk, right? I think, I think she still kind of conveys the idea. Um, You would say, oh, I see. Yeah, that's like the Red Here we go. This is, this is feeling a lot closer to me though. This is, this is pretty much where we need to be. Th I think this is close enough that um, looks good, reads well, you know, she's still maybe a little brighter, but that's just kind of the lighting on this on this art that changes that. Um, so I think I'm pretty <coughs> I'm pretty content with that. You know, I, I would probably fiddle with this. You guys may even notice sometimes too, like thumbnails will change after I post them because I go back and I'm like, no, that that head doesn't match as well as I want or whatever. You know, again, it's it's just um, a process for fun. Her lips probably actually shouldn't um well here let's let's cut out her eyes first her lips probably shouldn't change much maybe they're black his lips are just but but he doesn't have them painted but if he has a black nail maybe we should make her lips um as if she has like black lipstick on right i kind of like that in theory we could we could make this a lot darker potentially you know Kind of pull that saturation down and and maybe make it really dark yeah that looks pretty good yeah i like that is uh maybe <laughs> maybe that should continue a little bit more that bottom lip looks like we're missing an element doesn't it might be easier to start that here maybe, maybe like that there maybe grab that one little pixel there okay that probably looks better to me pull that saturation down pull that brightness down yeah there we go I like that that, look, that looks pretty good yeah that looks nice and then her eyes are green currently so we'll probably want to just change those to that yellow glow so we probably just want to make like a new layer and we'll take the yellow straight from red hulk too you know they do glow a little bit but not a ton and we can just paint this in um on that new layer that looks terrifying currently 
That does not seem to have a soul to it right now, does it? <laughs> she looks terrifying. That is not, no, we don't like that. <clears throat> That's too terrifying. Uh, why is that? He has kind of black eyeliner around the rim a little bit. That maybe conveys a little bit more life. I would say too, he has more color distinction. Like his is brighter in the middle and darker on the rims. So maybe we could try to create some kind of similar, similar notion. I can like feather this off a little bit. I don't actually hate how we have it here. We did we did add some of that brightness to it. It's just like he doesn't have pupils and her, that's fine for him because he's really squinty and small, but for her it just makes it, you know, a little um maybe we maybe we lower the opacity on this and try to bring in her natural pupils a little bit. If we just grab these um and maybe shift them to red behind Really kind of a green in there, right? That looks actually pretty similar, actually, now. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll leave it there. I will probably at some point go in and give her, like, some darker eyeliner or whatever. Um, so next we need to get her hair ready. People are like, oh, my God, this guy is insane. Why is he spending five minutes on her eyes, dude? It's Nobody even see The people see these for a tenth of a second if, it's, if it works. You know, the idea is people, you don't want people to get them too long. It's okay. I, I think there's, I don't know if there's value, you know, directly in, in kind of honing a craft or, or, or being proud and, 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 you know, trying your hardest to make something like that. Frankly, I should probably spend more time on the, the, the videos themselves in this way, but it's just, it's just what I like. I don't know. It's, it's my favorite thing to do. So, you know, don't hate. Uh, we actually need this out, outer hair here too. Don't hate. And this we're probably just make oh here we go. This we're probably just making kind of that neutralish gray. We're probably just pulling the saturation out of this, right? Uh, wrong this layer. We can merge these layers here so that that's all gonna get transformed. Because we look at Red Hulk's hair, it's kind of just like black gray, basically. So we're probably just gonna make hers. Uh, desaturated. I actually think that looks okay. I think that's fine. I don't think we need to tweak it any. We preserve that kind of neutral lighting instead of that, that, that harsh kind of orange rim lighting. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we have <coughs> um, gray pants for Red Hulk. She has this two-tone shirt. I think we'll probably still make it all gray. Um, we'll just kind of keep the values like the purple is going to have, you know, a, a, a darker value than the, the white, which is fine. Um, it'll still kind of look two toned, but it won't be colorful because apparently the red Hulk hates color, which, you know, that's that's nice. That's easy. Just desaturating things sometimes is, is about the easiest thing you can do if they're just, um, you know, not super colorful. Of course, we, we had to do her skin tone, which was tough, so. We did some color shifting work. You guys got to see what that painful process can look like. Uh, grab her other glove. I mean, I think her gloves too are just gray, right? Like we don't need anything fancy. Again, precision as much as you can get here is fine. Nothing crazy. All right, boom, boom, boom. Now we do the same trick. Uh, kill the saturation, boom. Looks a little, looks a little bland to me. I think having some color to it, like he has probably a hint of, by the way, why am I just slightly off here? I think he has a hint of, yeah, a hint of, of blue in there. Just the tiniest hint of a blue. But we could probably maintain that here. She's currently got just the tiniest hint of like a, Kind of a purpley. His blue is pretty dark though. I don't know. This is uh, this is kind of fine. It's gonna get like kind of too green if we're not careful. Uh, let's do this actually. Let's take the neutrals, make 
make it just a little more kind of this yeah there we go kind of that that blue tint give those shadows a little bit yeah that looks pretty good yeah so it still kind of reads she hulk's two-tone almost purple but more in that that uh that red hulk oh, whoopsie more in that red hulk family it's a little more blue it's also lighter of course but that's just probably uh par for the course again the lighting on this character is different yeah i kind of like pulling it down and up in the contrast a little bit though yeah his is still that more slate gray but this this gets close enough and pulls it into that she hulk world this is looking pretty good i think this is more or less good to go oh the fingernail we wanted to make the fingernail black yeah i wish there were more of these actually that's kind of a good little detail that um i think would go a long way like if there were more of these to kind of be like oh man look at that she has black fingernails just like red hulk i think that would be pretty cool i'm kind of sad there's only one but maybe still gets the point across that looks pretty good that kind of looks more dark red almost but good enough for me yeah i think this is pretty sick dude this is the red hulk version of she hulk now sometimes i'll tell you what i what i've done in the past a little bit for some of these transformations is like making them even more muscular like oh if she's red hulk she could be even more muscular i don't know if that one's gonna feel worth it on this like this looks so good as is let's actually just save this as its own layer here for now like we we could try you know just to show you i don't think this is ever gonna stick but we could try uh, this is its own layer right and uh like make her even more muscular to really convey like oh man red hulk he's uh he's even he's even more muscular right uh this is gonna be like normally i would kind of split out the the forearm and the arm here to to convey this better but um you know so, something in essence like this basically this is clearly not the the perfect example but uh oh, we also have this item back there uh, you know you you could kind of make her arm uh bigger like this right it's like oh my god she's really ripped dude <laughs> it looks a little unnatural <clears throat> you know you can see the regular version there it's like oh man she's ripped look how big that shoulder and arm is i don't think i don't think that would be worth it in this particular instance right so i think we'll just uh leave it here as is man this looks pretty good i think i think we may end up using this yeah i like it, it, it it's you know it's not the most complex transformation we've ever done but it did show a lot of of what we do the only thing it didn't really show well is like kit bashing a different element on um you know taking a different hand or whatever it may be like like for instance i don't know we could we could show this right like we could probably take like red skull's hand uh i wouldn't normally do that because you know we're not using red skull but you know you, you could probably put red skull's hand on here and if you didn't want her wearing gloves because red hulk doesn't wear gloves you know you, you could do something like this and and kind of merge this hand in I, I don't have another hand to match so this would be a particularly fool's errand um foolish errand but you know like we could we could try to do a, a, a color match on this there's a color replacement tool you know this kind of thing could could maybe get us closer it clearly seems like it's uh too too uh too dark right now too you know like i, I clearly i'm not gonna actually do this but this is the sort of thing that if I were taking, you know, multiple elements from, from different characters or something, this is what you might see, you know. Something like this. Again, by no means perfect. Um, you know, like, oh hey, I gave her a, a really muscular, veiny hand to um to convey, you know, that she's the Red Hulk. It actually is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But I like the gloves fine. I don't think that's necessary to convey the character. The color is doing so much work here. 
that you don't really need a lot of other elements. Sometimes you need to tell the whole story and like get it into a convincing place. This one, the color does that for you. It's really just about finding the hook. Like what about this is, you know, visually compelling and going from there. And, and you just sometimes you just don't need much more than that. So we'll take um, our freshly made She-Hulk. We'll have to zoom her up because, of course, this artwork's never really high res enough. She's probably going to go somewhere like this. We'll keep her generically big blind stats that are green back there. That's fine. Uh, and then we need a background. I mean, I'll probably grab She-Hulk's background in this case. Um, I'm trying to think about maybe, maybe we'll grab Red Hulk's. That's fine, too. That, that sometimes conveys the transformation even more. Let me see if I can find Red Hulk's background. I think this is kind of an incomplete version of it because I don't have that front stony layer here, but um, if we zoom it in enough, no one will know. It's really more about the color and creating a contrasting color, and red and blue are a good contrasting color, so that's probably why that was the chosen background color in the first place, but thankfully She-Hulk here as a red version also gets to benefit from that. So we cut the borders. We got a nice uh, red on blue She-Hulk. She's looking good and strong. Um, I guess I can show you guys how I do the text. This is probably the least interesting part. Um, she's big. She's big. This is really just a game about spacing and centering, but I'm not going to go to the trouble of that right now. Uh, here's how I do the... Uh, already selected, but here's how I do the gradient on this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, here's how I do the background on these. I use like these like four color dots, and then I also do like a kind of spray paint over them. So I do a slight modify feather. We're gonna go 15. We're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna go boom, boom. We're gonna go pixelate color half tone. I got certain settings for that. And then we go boom. We cut out all that. We make sure this is sufficiently dark so there's no gray edges. We pull that down. Then we take our paintbrush. We select our um, paint splatter and we kind of just, you know, whatever, just haphazardly paint in here. I just want it to look like kind of messy. Kind of round off some of those four color dot edges basically. I uh, would select two new cards. Of course, that's already done. Don't need to do that. And uh, that's a thumbnail. She's big. <laughs> I probably will change that, of course. Sometimes picking that text is honestly uh, the hardest part. I might cheese this and up the brightness a little bit and up the contrast a little bit. Sometimes that's not really the best for what looks good, but sometimes it's the best for what works on, on YouTube. I might also cheat this to purple a little bit um just to make the kind of blend in with the background a bit more uh sometimes that can really make the character pop it depends a little bit on the color of the character i would say actually we, we probably want really magenta here the background's more magenta -y. you know th this is um red and purple are still pretty solid contrast still in that kind of blue family for the purple just might make the character pop a little more i would probably you know see these zoomed out and see which one looks better but that red reads really well so that's a pretty sharp looking thumbnail i'd probably try to pick two complementary characters for the um uh bottom left you know sometimes if you get too many colors in the thumbnail it can be kind of distracting so i might pick like high evo for the red and i don't know what other kind of reddish characters might be in a high evo deck we wouldn't pick red hulk or she hulk of course because they're already conveyed uh <coughs> in the main art but i'd probably pick high evo and maybe cyclops he's kind of got some red purple bluey elements blue and red mostly high evos kind of red and green i don't know I, we'd sort it out it doesn't usually matter too much but there you go <coughs> that's your uh red she hulk i think she looks pretty cool to be honest i like that a lot i think i'll try to use this this looks great that's how I make a thumbnail. I guess maybe I could try to show you guys some old ones. Just like run you through some old ones as well. 
Yeah, so I was going through, I don't really have that many because as you saw, like we did with, with She-Hulk, I like created in a separate file here and then I don't really save these. I just paste them into the main file already composited. But this one did have some elements I thought were pretty crazy. This was Mobius and Hulk together, probably one of the most cursed uh, thumbnails of all and this file is not nearly so tidy. Um, you can see like, you know, I just did a color transform basically making it look like skin, which I remember this was a nightmare to match up the skin tone. And I think I had to do like all these, like you, you can see kind of like all these different versions of the skin tone to make it look right. Uh, it was just a nightmare. Also the base Hulk art is like really like sketchy and scratchy and has all these like hash marks and stuff, which was like impossible to replicate. So I just literally drew in hash marks. You can see here like on his chin, um, if we like zoom in, you know, I just drew these in as like new stuff to kind of try to replicate the style of the Hulk to give him the matching vibe, which again, it's just like a crazy amount of work. Here's his chin, you know. Uh, I don't know if it was worth it or not, but <laughs> it was the only thing that was really conveying the similarity. I mean, his body was already taken care of, of course. I think, yeah, I also just like had to thicken up his lines because his lines were just like more thin than the Hulk's lines, like the artist style or whatever. So I literally went in and like thickened up the lines around his head to kind of make it match. Uh, you can see we snuck in a little tie there around his neck and his tiny little baton. I think we had to shade in the hand a little bit to make that work. The pants recolor here was a bit of a nightmare. I remember trying to hand select all of this to make it to make it fit. But um, yeah, that's... That's that one that took a lot of extra work. I think this video did pretty well though, so probably worth it. This is another one where I don't have all the layers, um, so I, I can't really show you everything, but this one was like a ton of work, and I don't remember people responding that well to it, which I remember made me sad. Um, there's all these like little sand flourishes I added, which help, you know, the, the base sand version, by the way, you kind of just recolor it down to, you know, this kind of tan brown color, you kind of shift the values to like brown and tan and so on and stuff. Um, but the hard part on this one was making the cloak match the Sandman shirt pattern. So I like hand created these like darker lines over his his green cloak on both the front and back. And I think this gets zoomed in a little more. Currently the, the edges don't line up. Um, I, I think there was probably a better way to do this. And I actually even think this should probably have been flipped in hindsight. Uh, like obviously the shape won't match up as soon as I do this, but I think it, it, it looks a little more like Sandman. And, you know, I, obviously I could have like hand traced this to kind of follow the lines and stuff. That was just going to be an ungodly amount of work. So not, not totally worth it, but <coughs> these sand ones are pretty fun. Oh, you add like a noise filter. There's like a, there's like a noise filter. Uh, that's how I do it anyway, to make it look more sandy. So you like, you can do this in varying degrees and kind of give it that sandy look when it's on that, you know, nice uh, tan color, it starts to just read like sand. So transforming into sand is actually not as hard as you think. It was more of the cloak on this one I was pretty proud of. Um, again, I don't have all the layers on this, but you kind of get the idea. So yeah, that was another fun one. I don't have really too many more to show, so I guess we'll probably call it there, but um, that's how I make the thumbnails. They come in varying degrees of difficulty. Um, yes, it's probably not worth it. I wouldn't actually recommend any other folks try to do this. Like, it does probably help the videos because they're fairly eye-catching. I don't know if the time kind of return investment is worth it. I mean, you saw the, the She-Hulk, though. What did that take us, 15, 20 minutes? I usually finish them in between a video processing and uploading. I mean, sometimes I'll go back and tweak and sometimes they take a little longer, sometimes shorter, frankly. Like the Mr. Negative ones take almost no time at all. Those are super easy. Um, they might take like five minutes most. Uh, so, you know, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes is, is kind of the, the usual runtime on a thumbnail, <laughs> which I guess is probably worth it. They're pretty cool. Um, usually takes a video probably 10, 15 minutes to process maybe another 10 to like fully upload and process on YouTube. So that's about right. Yeah. But um, yeah, there you go. I guess if you have any questions or whatever, let me know if you have any cool ideas for, for mashups you'd like to see, let me know, you know, sometimes it's not as easy as it seems, you know, the, the body shapes sometimes have to fit together. You know, we just did kind of a recolor on the She-Hulk, which is a lot easier. Popping a new head on is usually pretty easy. Um, but if you're trying to like mix and match pieces of bodies, sometimes you got to have like same similar poses or, 
hands that make sense or whatever like accessories you want to put in there or whatever sometimes it's easier said than done but yeah there you go um that is the thumbnail process i hope you enjoyed this weird different video thanks for watching